You're a Democrat from Montgomery County. Welcome. I am, and it's great to be with you. Yes, thank you. Now, you're on your opponent's turf. Does that make you a little nervous? You know what? I kind of feel like my turf is everywhere. I'm I'm comfortable going anywhere. All right, so do you like Italian food? Let's talk about that I love Italian food. I was uh, smart enough to marry an Italian woman, so she she cooks very, very well, and I love Italian food. Speaking of your wife, high school sweethearts, right? Ninth grade. Ninth grade. We've been together ever since. We had one of those little breaks, of course, okay. but um, I was able to up. I was able to win her back, and uh, we actually got it. We, we got back together right after college, and um, got engaged six weeks later, and it was meant to be. That was it. We have four kids and been together forever. Now your supporters tout you as a proven reformer yeah. and someone who holds high ethics and can bring restore ethics to the AG's office. Now your critics hit you with saying that you've never been a prosecutor. How do you respond to that? Do you feel you're fit to serve? This job is far more than being a prosecutor. I've been an executive. Uh, I've commanded teams of lawyers as chairman of the county commissioners, as the head of the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency. Um, I've got a unique skill set, unique background, and I'm ready to do this job. Speaking of integrity and wanting the system to work, something that you really are pushing for is transparency with um, candidate dollars, donor dollars, as well as any taxpayer money that a state official spends. How would you implement that, though? Would that be some sort of database? How would you put that into motion? In Montgomery County, we did something that no other county in Pennsylvania did. We took our entire budget and put it online. So you know from the silly stuff how much money we spend for you know toilet paper and pens and pencils to the bigger stuff, how much money we spend on outside law firms. You know exactly how every dollar is spent, how it comes in and how it goes out. The public needs to know how their hard-earned dollars are being spent. I feel very, very passionately about this. And I think it's a big part of restoring integrity to the system. Tell me about Casey Commission. Well, Governor Casey was a a tremendous leader in in the Commonwealth. And whether you agree or disagree with the policies he put forth, no one can argue that he really led, um, you know, with with great integrity, um, great ethics. And I think we need a, a Casey Commission in Pennsylvania. That's why I proposed it. The idea that you would go out, investigate all the different laws, all the different rules, say what works, what doesn't work, recommend changes, and constantly be a group of sort of outside advisors, right? Lawyers, professors, community advocates, what have you, who would say, look, these are the highest standards that we should hold our elected officials to. And there's the five things you're doing. You're doing them really well, but the number six and seven, you could be doing better. So they would be recommending reforms to the attorney general and then also recommending reforms to state government. Circling back to what you said about oil and gas, that's a big source of jobs here in this region, in southwestern Pennsylvania. Do yeah. you want to take on the industry? How so? What's, what's, what is your sure. plan there? I don't want to shut down the industry. I don't want to stop them. That's the governor and the legislature's decision. But I do want to make sure that the public health is protected. We have a clause in our state constitution. It guarantees the right to clean air and pure water. It's my job as Attorney General to protect everybody's constitutional rights. If someone negatively impacts your pure water, your clean air, I'm going to go after them. You have a lot of support behind you. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of endorsements. What do you think your chances are right now? You know, look, endorsements don't win elections, but I do think they tell you a little bit about a candidate's ability to compete everywhere. And I feel like I can compete everywhere in this election. 